This girl sang an insane riff and it's gone viral across the internet. Have you seen it? And then this girl starts singing and she does a harmony here. Who doesn't love the most overly covered song in the world, especially when it has a sweet vocal run like that? And that's what we're talking about today. Why is everyone so obsessed with this vocal run? Is it even that good? <laughs> it is. She has that shocked, whoa! Sounds exactly like when Dahmer Goo yelled, whoa, 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 when her guitar got smashed in the filming of The Hateful Eight, that Quentin Tarantino movie. So, a little backstory on that, they were using a fake Martin for the smash shot. But for the shots where she's actually playing a guitar, they're using a Martin from 1870 lent to them by the Martin Museum. It was valued at over $400,000 and, uh, well, there was a mix-up and... Music time's over. <laughs> It's like the exact same pitch. <laughs> Wild. I don't know why I heard that. I've always remembered that movie scene. It's not even a good reaction. I don't know why they used it. Like, who would say, whoa, 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 if somebody smashes your guitar? Like, her character would have been like, why'd you do that? I guess they had to justify breaking that historic guitar somehow. It's over. So let's talk about this riff, shall we? Do we need to be wearing sick giant green Yoshi shoes in order to sing like this? I don't know. The other girl's wearing humongous shoes as well. Maybe there's something to wear in huge shoes that helps you sing better. I'm gonna try it. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do is pull this video audio, the audio from the video into Logic. So I'm gonna start right here. I'll stop right after she says whoa. All right, looks like we're starting out with a half step. <laughs> I think that's it. So here we have the riff that everybody loves so much. Beautiful. Now, how can we play this on the guitar? Because <laughs> I play the guitar, we gotta see what we can do with this riff. Pretty simple on the guitar. I chose to do a little tap. It sounded the most vocal in that way. But really, just these seven notes. And of course, maybe we should like hit that. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Uh, overall, like not really an impressive guitar lick. Sounds really cool though when it's played with her. So maybe that's the answer here to try and make something creative out of this. Perhaps a. Uh, Harmony of my own. Harmonies are tricky because you never want to overshadow the melody. That's the most important part. Harmonies are meant to support the melody. And in this case, I went with a rat-a-tat approach. Very dry. There's already a ton of reverb on her voice and with the drums, it's kind of hard to actually make anything sound good even if the notes are perfect in this mix. So I used no reverb, no ambience, a little bit of delay on just the last whoa. But an interesting thing you can do with harmonies is you don't necessarily have to match the melody note for note to support it. You'll see this is the foundation. This is just mirroring the melody. And without getting too bogged down into music theory, I basically went for a mirror approach to this harmony part where I play the exact same phrase just at a different point in the scale. So that's a pretty traditional harmony approach. Now here is the ratatatification of guitar harmonies. What I love about this band, basically what I'm gonna attempt is to make my guitar very, very vocal sounding, almost like off the beat a little bit with the slur into certain notes. And I'm also not going to follow the melody line completely because I find that sometimes when notes suspend over one another and you know maybe there's a little bit of a slide, she's already popping right up the scale so I can afford to slide down, maybe support and create some sort of tension and release. So oh, I just think that sounds so milky smooth. Don't you? Finally, uh, a low harmony is what I'm gonna go for next. And again, I'm gonna take that approach of suspending some certain notes and I'm probably gonna stick to the melodic rhythm that we've 
come up with on the first few, not really go too far out of bounds as far as the rhythm is concerned. By the way, I'm using my thumb to really match that staccato ba -ba 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 that she does with her voice. It really just kind of enhances things. If I played this with a pick even, or like played longer notes slightly, it wouldn't be as cool, I think. <laughs> So you put all four of those babies together and you have something really cool. Like that's cool on its own. But then you add it to this awesome vocal riff. Did I make it better? Probably not. Probably, probably don't need my harmonies, but this was just an inspiring little video. The wonderful voice, uh, amazing riff. Glad it got caught on tape. Glad you said, whoa, that was like <laughs> the coolest part, I think, of the entire video. Even cooler than the riff was the fact that you were so excited about it. Maybe the next time you're in a parking garage, you can hit that. <laughs> Can't do it. And it only sounds cool when you're in that register. It doesn't sound cool if you do it lower. I'm sorry. You got to get up to that high G, that. <laughs> Ow. I should stick to guitar. 